I don't ever have to solo another shitty goddamn Grandmaster Nightfall ever unless I want to. All right, all right, before we get into this, let's rewind a little bit. Hi, my name is Fallout, and you should subscribe to my channel. Big thank you to those who do. Every now and then, I'm the kind of guy who likes to try to solo hard PvE content. It can be really rewarding, but sometimes it goes, um... Oh. <laughs> it was right in the corner! <gasps> no! Yeah, it, uh, it can be rough. But I like to challenge myself, because why the hell not? But first, real quick, today's video is brought to you by Raycon. These things are comfortable as hell, and they look and sound better than ever. Are you worried that they're going to fall out of your ear? Don't. Check it out. Free demo. Don't try that at home. See? Didn't budge. And with optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, they are crazy comfortable. Raycon Everyday Earbuds offer 8 hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life. At half the price of other premium audio brands, it's really no wonder why Raycons have over 49,000 five-star reviews. My favorite thing about them is that they feature both a noise isolation and awareness mode. Want to listen to a podcast, music, whatever, but still kind of want to hear what's going on around you? Fine, turn on awareness mode. Want to go full on immersion and block out outside noise? Noise isolation is the mode for you. I really love to listen to YouTube videos when I cook dinner because I'm a weirdo and Raycon everyday earbuds are a godsend. Click the link down in the video description or go to buyraycon.com slash fallout to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Again, buyraycon.com slash fallout for 15% off. Thank you, Raycon. All right, back to the content. Anyway, we'd had a goal on my Twitch channel. Yeah, I stream on Twitch, by the way. I feel like I mention this almost every week and I still get people who come over and are like, oh my God, you stream on Twitch, bro? That's crazy. I followed you for like five years. I had no idea. But I'm rambling. We had a sub goal that we hit, by the way, for me to try and solo the Lightblade Grandmaster Nightfall. If you don't know, probably the hardest Grandmaster Nightfall ever to solo, in my humble opinion. Why do I feel that way? <laughs> well, it's funny you should ask. Roll footage. Oh, no! <laughs> Why? Oop. Oh my god, really? Really? With that? This might have been a bad idea. Please live, please live. Fuck! What? Omega easy side dish. Are you? Yeah, that's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Mother. <sighs> I can barely see your head. Fuck. I saw that coming in. Oh God. Damn it. Hit headshots. Jesus. What the? Ooh, those shields. That was really stupid. Ooh. We got four shots. Oh! <laughs> we gotta just flat out shoot him to death. Ow. Oh, I went for glory. Yes. <gasps> no, 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 no! I hate this room, man. <gasps> oh! Was that a suppression grenade? Man, I've been. Oh god! Oh god! As soon as I saw that shit coming down the fucking hallway, please. No, the, the fucking timing. Oh God! I don't know. I want names from everyone in the chat who said that would work. Oh, oh, God. 
How are you not finishable? Oof. <gasps> okay. Oh, he's at that garbage angle. Might as well die. You scumbag! I'm annoyed. Yeah, that might as well happen. Normally, we have a rule where if you're trying to bait me that the TWAB is out and the TWAB isn't out, you're going to get timed out. No, no. Oh, uh, I'm going to die. Yep. I had no choice. Break. Oh, God. But would his core audience know? Hurry, 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 hurry. Finish. Ah! I hit it too fast. Shit. You can't teleport a curt. After a while, I felt I'd given a good run and wanted to either hang it up for a bit or at least take a break. That's when a Twitch viewer DM'd me this. He thought I was really close to actually getting it done and didn't want me to rest on my laurels. And I mean, just because I'm a YouTuber doesn't mean I'm only motivated by money. But I was compelled to take the challenge. Stick around for the end of the video for something important. But in the meantime, let me show you what happened. My first attempt while going for the grand prize, things started off well. Keep moving, keep moving, whoa, ho, 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 ho. okay. Woo, okay. One down, okay, come on, just no shields, no shields, no shields. Play, play it chill, play it chill, play it chill, play it chill. Please move, thank you. baby don't like the shieldies don't like the fire i don't like much of anything much of anything out here i really don't approve of throw another nade Whew. here's another nade where's your acolyte friend oh my god there's your acolyte friend all we got to do now kill the loosened hive dealing with the loosened hive in the first main room always a big pain in the ass you got to be real careful okay one. Now nah, let's just kill. Don't take more than one tag. He's throwing bullshit at me. Flinch, please. Flinch. Okay, more good damage. Oh. Oh god. That could have been really bad. Nope, 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 nope. Where are you? Jesus Christ. Okay, remember it is tether. Grenade finish. Okay, he's already finishable. He's already finishable. Here comes the tether. One. Two. Dodge. Woo! Ah, oh, no, let's not toy with the shield. Keep playing hit and run tactics. A little chip damage here. A little chip damage there. Eventually, I'd managed to get out of the first room on attempt one, which I was goddamn psyched about. Come on, baby. I could finish you, but I got ammo. So long, suckas. Part one done, baby. Let's go. Temple of the Navigator. I'd gotten a little flack from my Twitch chat about not using the emote exploit that allows you to cheese the entire boat phase, but uh, I mean, y'all saw what happened earlier, right? Yeah, for whatever reason, I decided to do that part manually this time. Camoed through the swamp, no problemo, and made it through the cliff encounter easy. Now I was in the boss room. Things were stressful. Woo! Assume the position. If any thrall teleport into death combo, then I'm going to be Omega upset. Well, at least they can be sometimes predictable with their teleport. That's good news, right? Ha 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 Teleport? Ha 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 ha! I'm wise to your tricks now. Oh my. I was a little high strung, but things weren't too bad. Hmm, I don't like where he is. Put your hand down. Put your hand down. Okay, I'm hearing something over there. 
fucking Christ. Then it happened. <gasps> oh, through, through the floor? Through the floor? What? But how? Oh, you know what happened? I think I forgot about the multiple thrall. I didn't hear them. Was I bummed about not getting a one and done? Yeah, but launched up attempt number two, business as usual. <laughs> Just another day. Nothing to worry about, nothing to see here. Got to the first room with all the light bearing hive, figured I'd do it like last time, right? Well, the way too early death sucked, but at least I took it like a man. You're, you're tethered. You're literally tethered. Like you're actually factually contained by a tether. Very, very awesome. Attempt number two didn't go over so well, but I've still got momentum. I figured attempt number three would completely be the run. Saw that at the last fucking Second. Before attempt number four even began, I was starting to have my doubts. Oh God. I didn't even know if I have the patience to keep doing this, but I decided to take a quick stretch and walk to clear my head. And before you know it, I was back in the saddle. With that quick break and feeling kind of refreshed, I was ready to go hard. Where's the other guy? I know I've only killed one. Check the corner, check the corner, check the corner, check the corner. Dude, where is he? Fuck. What? <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. Like, weren't we there and we made a whole loop around the room? Around the whole room? As I'm sure you can imagine, I was a little upset with myself. Oh God, focus you idiot. By now I was a little on edge. I was doing all right, but feeling fatigue. Hate this fucking room, dude. Sheesh. Good to know we have multiple power bricks over there. No, 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 no. And that one whizzed right by my head. Jesus Christ. That is different from your regular average hive. This is advanced hive. Now I won't say what happens next broke my spirit. I mean, I can read it, but I choose not to. Oh, sorry. I just realized that was a typo earlier. <laughs> my bad guys. What I meant to say was this totally 100% broke my spirit. Why is sometimes their shields don't reach the back wall and then other times not only do they reach the back wall they have enough length to hit the back wall and then go down and hit me my attempts weren't going so damn well but i tried to focus up oh god do i hate it here god almighty do i fucking hate it here bro everything hurts and i'm dying it's perfect play the entire time Okay, I'm just clearly making technical mistakes now. You know, one way or another, when this is over, I just, I'm going to be thrilled. Oh, Jesus Christ. Random acolyte RKO out of nowhere. If I ever complete this, I am never stepping back into this strike for any reason ever again, ever. Eventually, I was back to the same old song and dance with the light bearing hive. Mush. No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You shouldn't be able to do that when suppressed. Just FYI. Just FYI. Shouldn't be able to drop a barricade when you're suppressed. Just letting you know. In due time, we nailed the first room, which aside from the boss room is actually the hardest part of the GM. Now to run the gauntlet all the way until the boss room. Hive are stupid. Both of you get pushed. <laughs> I think I got one off. Yeah, I got them both. <laughs> Sweet. This is my swamp. I'm more at home here than Shrek. Looks like we're 
all clear, bitch. If I could hit a magic button and just appear in the boss room each time, like if I could just start in the boss room each and every time, I'd probably be fine. You know what I mean? It wouldn't bother me that much. The fact that it takes all this time to get to the boss room is just fucking awful. Finally, we were back in the boss room. My heart was in my goddamn throat and it was time to play it extra careful. Oh my god, I hate this. Oh, you're like coming over? Okay, if he's coming over, I'm just gonna wait here. So he might just walk right into my, yep. House of pain. Oh, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, okay. Unbelievably, I managed to get to the first damage gate phase. All I had to do now was deal with the yellow bar boys and get back to the big bad. Come on. Chip damage. No, you gotta be careful fighting those knights, boy. I've seen the clips. They can teleport right to you in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not you, not you, not you. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't be like that, baby. Don't be like that. Shit. Yes. Dodge right. Yes, you are stupid. Yes. Oh my god, yes. I don't want to leave this area. I just want to stay here forever and have this be my little hidey hole. Like, I can make a home here. I'll raise a family right here, down underneath this bridge. Maybe not that bridge. This bridge. I'll retire down here under this bridge. Not that other bridge that we talked about. Things were going great, but before getting back to the boss, I saw a few acolytes and decided to pick them off while I had an angle. And then it happened. Through the, the moss, the leaves and the trees. I couldn't see him. Oh God. Oh God, no, no. Red moss! Ah! I don't <laughs> That run had been so long and really taken the wind out of me. I decided to hang it up for that day anyway. Go out, enjoy my evening, and hit it hard the next day. I was feeling fresh and I dove right in. Apparently I forgot to turn off my Twitch chat display though. Eh, but who cares about that? The other day on my very first run, I managed to get all the way to the goddamn boss room. Maybe today would be the same? And more nade, no. Well, that was kind of a drag, dying so early, but at least I know my next run probably won't be as short. I tried going with my usual game plan of dealing with the Lucent Hive, but... Dodge. And goddammit, there I was on my final attempt. Got to the first room and did my best to keep it all together. He threw a nade perfectly into that dish? Oh, come on, man, you're kidding. I'm super, you can't be in here. Get out of here. If I could just get out of this room, I would feel so much better about my run if I could just get out of this first room. I was like, what are the odds that that hits me? Knowing my luck, probably pretty good, right? Guess I focused up hard enough because we made it. I blew through all the other areas and decided to take a page out of the leopard playbook. Take a break midnight fall before tackling the boss room. Uh, okay, Anno. I'm going to get up and walk around and stretch. Just like every two minutes, come wiggle that mouse. Thank you. You look so slow. There's so much like drag on your mouse. I just don't know how you play like this. When I came back, I was at least a little bit refreshed. So I went into the boss room. Final attempt. Things started off good. There's the fucking tree moss that got me killed last time. Enemies will teleport a lot in the boss room. We... <laughs> See what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? We gotta be really careful. I was really nervous, but I had to keep going. Finally, the first damage gate mark. All I had to do was mop up the yellow bar boys just like before. Oh, oh man! He came downstairs! Oh, 
Oh man. Golf clap for the attempt. It takes so long to get to the boss room and it's so mentally, physically, emotionally draining to get there. It's still a good run. It's a good run, baby. Good run. Thanks to everybody in the chat for joining. That was fun. Well, not exactly the ending I was hoping for. But there is good news. If the nightfall ever returns and I'm feeling up to it, I can go back in and try to climb that mountain again. It's rough, but I always like having big challenges, even if they make me go a little bit crazy. Oh, by the way, me subjecting myself to pain again at a future date? That ain't the good news. The good news is that the viewer respected my effort and still donated 5 hundo to the stream, which I of course spent entirely on Fortnite skins and a huge pile of weed. <laughs> I'm just playing. I actually took that donation and did what I always had planned to do with it from the beginning. Donate it to the Bungie Foundation, Bungie's nonprofit charity organization who are always partnering with humanitarian aid organizations and helping people in need around the world. Hashtag not an ad, by the way. The Guardian Games Cup is actually going on right now. I am captain of Team Warlock USA, baby. Every team out there is not only competing, but raising money for a good cause. I'll drop some links down in the video description. Be sure to check it out. Thanks to my viewers for keeping me sharp. Thanks to QHA for the fun challenge and maybe keep your eyes peeled for more. You never know. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and I appreciate you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.